friends, this is someone once again from Sony Tech, and I'm so excited to be back recording. I've been away for some time. Officially, this is my very first video of this year, which is 2025. All right, so in today's video, I'll be walking you through how to build or how to customize Expos native or Expos default bottom tab navigation. So we'll be transforming it into something like so. So this style of navigation, amongst others, is very common in frameworks like Flutter. And also, we can actually do the same in React Native. So, we'll be using the latest version of the Expo SDK, which is SDK uh, 52, and we'll be using Expo Router. Okay, so if this is your first time watching my video, be sure to subscribe, please like this video, please share and comment so I know your thoughts so I can improve upon my videos. Alright, so see you in the tutorial. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and paste this updated colors, and let me press Tab to import my colors from my constant okay so great so what i did did next was to spread my colors together with some new colors i created here um let me comment this out and now let's set header shown to false and i can set the tab bar show label to false as well let's see if, and this is what we get so this is not the color i want to use let's set this to light great and we can do border top width you can set it to and we can set the color to as well and um, we're going to set um, this to let's set this to light as well all right so great okay so let's increase the height of the top let's just set it to 80 we can give some padding some padding at the bottom to um, 20 all right so great okay so now let's give it some border radius so border top right radius okay so border top left and then good but before uh, let me comment out this pattern so you see what we have okay so now you see we have these curves here so nice so what then can we do to position this uh, we can't do a lot of things so we can do we can justify content to the center okay so great great okay so now now let's work on the tab bar item style so we can do tab bar item style the tab item style um, we can increase the height to say about 60 and we can give it padding vertical um, we can we can set this to let me set it to 10 first and see what we have okay um, let's leave it at 5 for now we'll come back to this later to change okay so great um so we can now go ahead and uh, we can align item center here we can of course justify item center okay so you are not really seeing the effect of this so right now let's go to one of the most important parts so let's do tab bar inactive tint color tab bar in active tint color and uh, we can do updated colors obviously it's inactive and the active color to us all okay so now let's try see it. so let's try so you see on android we have this haptic um, effect so now let's go over to the screens itself okay nice so we see we have our um icons and tab items looking very nice so now let's proceed to the tab screen so i'm going to comment this out and i'm going to since i'm going to customize it we are going to use the um gss element so let's do tab bar icon i think this is all we need for now and we're going to do structure color and focus and now let's do a check to check if it is focused so that we render whether it is active or inactive so if focused would want to render something else so let's go in here and render return a view i want to give it some styling but inside of this view we are going to return the icon which then is going to be the font awesome icon let me just go grab it from here let me just go grab it from here I'm going to return a text let's just call it home 
okay so great so let's do some inline styling here okay so since we want to change the direction of it so we're going to do flex direction of row and we'll do align items justify content i'm going to do just the default i'm going to set the background color to active because of course you want the active element okay you're going to get an error it's it's from this side so let me just return an empty fragment and let's see okay so you see how it's looking here so great okay so now let's go ahead and um add more styling here so we can do padding let's give it some padding horizontal and we can set that to about 16 and we can do padding vertical we can set this to 10 is too much i think okay so it's not showing okay um so you see we have this box here and we can give it a border radius of about 20 right and um let's 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 give it um a main width of minimum width of um about uh, 120 okay so now let's see if okay so it's looking good so now let's just push it so we're going to give add some space at the top so let's give it top of 15 and let's push it to the left let's do um 20 i think 20 is fine okay so it's not showing fully what could be the problem so flex direction will i think everything is fine from my side okay so let's style this text too as well um let's just do the regular thing so color we set it to color and you can set the font think 16 is too much let's just set it to 14 um i think we can do okay oh yeah and let's give it some margin left of i think 10 is too much okay so this thing is not showing really well what could be the problem let's debug together okay so i think um okay let's give it a height so let's add a height let's save and see okay to be safe let's just set it to 45 all right so great our tab is looking so good okay so to save time uh, to prevent the video from getting too long let me just copy paste this tab to the screen and just change a few things so it ends here i'm going to copy this one to as well okay so now let's just change the naming so it was um assign book and this was set to settings all right so great um so we can change a few things here so of course i'm going to change this one to settings okay so let's do a, a bit of cleaning here so let me just go down here and grab this icon and replace it accordingly i'm going to grab this icon okay and let's just replace it here okay there's something we did not do um so for the now side it's almost kept me actually apologies let's give it some styling and i'm going to also do inline styling here so here we're saying that we're going to just retain an icon that is if and this icon is of is it home am i right so it's of home right okay so we see the home icon has been returned um so let's add some styling to this so it means that we're going to go ahead and change the styling we're going to do flex of rule once again they're going to okay let me just accept all of this and just clean this up so we will not need this um we need um, pattern horizontal 16 border radius um okay so let's just save this and see so it's in the center perfectly okay so great so let's just copy paste this entire thing again
Okay, so we're having this error because um, I'm supposed to actually change the name. So this should be assigned book. Okay. Okay, so great. Um, where are we? Where are we? Let's change this name to this title to settings. And let's play around the icon here. So this also changes to settings and this changes to cog okay so great so now let's see so it works fine okay but you see um this particular one is pushed here in the space here so now let's change everything here from left to right so we start from here and there's also one here you can give a margin right instead and there's a last one somewhere here so we set this to right as well okay great so now let's see so you see it looks very beautiful so we've transformed this from the initial expo um ex expo's default bottom tab navigation to something like so okay guys so um we've come to the end of our tutorial thank you so much for watching this one if you are interested in more and similar tutorials like so be sure to leave a comment. Please like this video. Please share and comment. I'll see you in the next one and Happy New Year.